Hi everyone, welcome back to our summer series, Porch Pilates. Go ahead and lie down on a comfortable flat surface, hug those knees in towards you, make sure your body feels nice and stable, curl the head and the shoulders up, keep one knee in towards you, and straighten the other leg long in our single leg stretch, and then switch. Try to work as parallel as you can, really focusing on alignment today. Keep going, flex your feet, reach your arms overhead. Just those legs are moving, head and shoulders are still lifted a little higher if you can. Almost there. Good, everyone, rest the head down for just a moment and then curl back up, arms and legs go long, everything comes in. Inhale as everything stretches long and exhale in. Arms and legs are moving, your head is still lifted. Reach long through the fingertips and long through the tops of your feet. Almost there. And then rest that head down again. Keep your right knee in. Take your left leg long underneath you. Hovering off of the floor. Switch for a moment. Curl the head and the shoulders up. Switch again. Both legs straight. Right leg up, left leg low. And then switch. And switch. Really being precise with where the legs are going. Go a little faster if you want. Make sure you're breathing. Try to keep the legs stretching long the whole time, especially when that leg is lifted. One more each leg. And then rest the head and the legs down. Good, guys. <coughs> Take your hands behind your head. And then make sure that tailbone is anchored down. Straighten both legs in the air. Curl the head and the shoulders up. Lower both legs as you inhale, and then exhale to lift. Press your tailbone down even further when you lift the legs. Feel that oppositional energy happening throughout the body. We're just gonna do three more. Okay, guys, bend those knees, rest for just a moment. We're gonna go into our crisscross, last thing in our abdominal series. Curl back up, twist one way, straighten the other leg, and switch, and switch. Keep the elbows open. Think about armpit to knee. Precise with where those legs go. And then rest everything down. Nice work, everyone. Keep your hands behind your head. Bring your feet down, knees bent. Curl up to the tips of the shoulder blades, and then right back down. Curling up and down. Curling up. And down again. And now lift from the sternum and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. One or two more. Lift. Good, everyone. Back to our curl. Four more. Last curl. And then again, lift from the sternum and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Good, everyone. Rest with those arms down at the sides. Make sure your feet are underneath you. Tuck the pelvis, lift the hips, peel the spine up off the mat into a bridge. Keep the front of the body soft. Roll down the back. Again, tuck the pelvis, lift the hips, peel the spine up, getting that articulation in the spine, allowing the pelvis to move and enjoying that movement. We've been keeping it still so far. Two more or so in your own time, use the breath. And then let your legs relax. You can let the knees fall in, let the feet be wide. You can rock the, leg, the bent knees one way and the other. You can let both knees fall one way, turn your head the other way, get a twist. Just whatever feels good for your body right now. Take a moment. Make your way back to your back. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Reach forward, grab onto the left leg. Pull those legs towards you. Take a brief figure four stretch. You can rotate the ankles if you want. When you're ready, switch sides.
Go ahead and uncross those legs, bring them all the way together and straighten them towards the ceiling. We're gonna go into corkscrew. Take both legs over to the right, lower down, up on the left, center, and then reverse. Over to the left, lower down, up on the right, and center. So basically a circle with both legs pressing into the other, pausing at the top and reversing direction. Last one, leave the leg center, lift the tailbone, and then lower. Small lift of your butt off the mat and lower, trying to find lower, deeper abs to help make this movement happen. Just one or two more. Okay, guys, bend those knees, hold on behind the legs, take a little rock forward and back. Pull with the arms, push with the legs, and then make your way all the way up. Let the knees open, bring the feet together, round the body forward if that feels good, and then scoot yourself forward on your mat for some open legged rocker. Closed leg rocker, actually, my mistake, legs all the way together. Pull in a push with the arms and the legs, rolling down the center of the spine, rolling up and sitting tall. Never ever hit your head. Let the breath help you. Okay guys, come on up from there. Take the legs long in front of you. Make sure you are up on those sits bones. Take a little stretch forward if it feels good. Reach those arms along and roll down onto the mat. One part of the spine at a time. Let the arms continue overhead and then arms come back to the ceiling or the sky. Inhale, exhale, rounding up. Stay rounded, reach past the feet. Sitting tall keeping that spine articulation and then rounding back again. One last one, rolling down. Keep energy through the arms, through the fingers and rounding back up. Scoot yourself forward a little bit on the mat the legs long make sure that your hips stay level grab onto that right leg straight <coughs> and bend the right leg a few times I'm gonna go into a version of tree when you're ready leave that leg straight walk the hands to the ankle and then bring your leg with you as you start to roll back walk your hands down your leg bring the body down take your head down and then round back up feel free to keep your hands on your leg like I'm doing Really, really, again, be intentional with alignment of the body. Hands are where you need them to help with this. We're going to do one more. Stay down there. Hover your left leg off the floor. Circle that right leg. Circle. Circle. One or two more. Circle that right leg. Arms are reaching long, hovering off the mat as well. Head and shoulders are curled up. Reverse that circle. Keep that leg reaching long, long, long. Really feel the right hip down, the left hip down. The last one. Grab back onto that right leg, lower the left leg. Walk your hands up, bring your body up. Sitting nice and tall, bend that right knee. Let everything relax for a moment. Nice work, everyone. <coughs> We're gonna do the same thing on the left. I believe I may have done one additional tree on the left side. So just a heads up, there might be one more coming. Grab onto that left leg, straighten and bend a few times. Make sure the hips stay level to one another. And then leaving that leg straight, walk the hands as close to the ankle as you can. Start to bring the body and the leg back. And then walk your hands down the leg nice and easy. And then right back up, pull in a push, arms and leg. Two more. Good, everyone, last one, all the way down. Hover the right leg off of the mat. Keep that left leg long. Arms are to the mat initially. Circle that left leg in, down, up. Circle, when you're ready, hover the arms. Curl the head and the shoulders up. Two more, circle in. One more that direction. 
pause at the top and reverse circle out, down, in, and up. Four more. Reach long through the right side of the body, long through the top of the right foot, long through the top of that left foot as it circles down and up, almost there. Grab that left leg, lower the right, bring the body and the leg back up, and then take that leg down. Nice work, everyone. Take a moment and then make your way onto your hands and your knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, arch the spine, tilt the pelvis, lift the head, and then lift the spine round, let the head drop, let the tailbone tuck. A few more times to arch and round. Reconnect with the body if you lost it. Tuck the toes under, stretch back into a downward dog. Pedal the heels right away, stretching one leg long and then the other. Let both heels reach towards the floor. Feel those hips lifted. We're gonna bring the body forward to a plank position. Adjust the hands if you need to. And then we're gonna do some push-ups. Bend the elbows in towards the body or parallel and then push up. Bend and push. Three more. Abdominals lifted, low back, long. And then lift back to down dog. We're gonna do that again, except the elbows will bend out this time. So when you're ready, bring the body forward. Feel connected, let the elbows open as you bend. And press, do four more. And then lift back to down dog, good everyone. Bend both knees down towards the mat, hover, and then back to down dog. Bend both knees, hover, back to down dog. Keep the abdominals lifted. When the body comes forward, the shoulders are over the wrists. One or two more. Good, everyone. And then rest. Go ahead, take a child's pose. Let the knees be wide. Let the hips sink towards the heels. When you're ready, make your way back to Downward Dog. Continuing to think about alignment here, you're going to lift your right leg in the air, but keep it parallel, keep it in line with the hip. From there, you're going to bend the right knee, come forward to a plank, and then stretch back Down Dog, right leg in the air. Plank with the right knee bent, and then Down Dog with the leg in the air. Two more. And last one. Good, guys, bring that right foot down, pause in the center. And then lift that left leg in the air, keep the hip down, bend the left knee, body forward to plank, stretch back long. Left knee bends, body to plank, stretch back long. Really focus on keeping your hips aligned to one another here and letting the body just move forward and back. One or two more. And then place that foot down, come back to another child's pose. Nice work, everyone. Come on out of this child's pose, come all the way down onto your mat. Take your hands one on top of the other underneath your forehead. Have the tops of your feet down on your mat. Have the legs be parallel in line with your hips, so not super, super wide. Making sure that the tops of those toes are down. Hands underneath the forehead. You're gonna lift your head, your hands, your heart off of the mat into a baby swan. Making sure that those abdominals are lifted so that you don't pinch in the low back. And then you're gonna lower down. You'll lift the head, the hands, the heart, curving the upper part of the spine, and then lower down. It's a small movement. Two more. Last one. I'm gonna leave the upper body down, bring our attention to the legs. We're going to bend the right knee, flex the right foot, Find the glute and the hamstring and a small lift and lower, lift and lower of that right leg. 
to the left side of the body, anchor it down. And then stretch that right leg long, bend the left knee when you're ready, flexing that left foot. Finding the hamstring and the glute, the back of that left leg to lift and lower. Core is engaged to help stabilize. Just five total. And then stretch that leg long and relax for a moment. Come on up onto forearms and elbows. Let the head drop, let the head lift. And going right into single leg kick, double leg kick, I mean. Point and flex as you kick, kick, and kick, kick. Again, core is engaged to help stabilize the rest of the body, pointing the foot and then flexing on that kick, kick. Moving on to double leg kick, legs together, arms behind the back, elbows bent, bend the knees, kick the legs three times, point, flex, point, legs go down, arms reach, head and chest lift, turn your head the other way, bend the elbows, kick the legs, three, two, one, legs down, arms reach, head and chest lift, again, kick the legs, and reach the arms, again, kick three, two, one, legs down, arms reach. Release the hands, kick the legs like you're swimming. Float the arms, or I'm sorry, lift the arms and lower. Lift the arms and lower, they're behind the back. Keep reaching long through the fingers. And then rest it down, nice work. Rock those hips side to side, loosen up any tension that might have crept up into the back. Turn your head side to side if you would like as well. Then go ahead and take a brief child's pose if you would like. And we're going to move on to our side leg series. But take a moment in that child's pose if you need it. When you're ready, set yourself up on the right side of your body. You're going to stay up on the forearm and elbow of the right arm. So we have the torso lifted. Legs, bottom leg is down anyway. Top leg will lift and lower. Feet are flexed. Core is super active. That right arm is engaged and the hip stays down. Just one more. Keep your foot flexed. Do a double kick to the front and then a single point to the back. I am encountering a spider on my mat, <laughs> which I have left in for comedic effect. So take a moment if you need to. I'm totally leaving it in because it was just too funny. I tried to hit it with the shoe, uh, but then it fell down in between the crack on the deck. So, you know, the spider lived to tell the tale as well. Um, let's get back to our to our side leg series. We'll do our uh, flexed foot double kick to the front, point the foot, single swing to the back. Doing a total of five. Don't let those hips rock. Keep that bottom side stable. Make sure there's no tension in the hands or the face. Turn out both legs, heels together, toes apart. Slide your top heel up the bottom leg and then slide it down. Nice and easy, finding that natural rotation of your leg within the hip. If you don't need that top arm for support, take it overhead. One more. Point the foot, kick the leg up, flex, come down. Point and kick, flex, come down. Keep that bottom rib cage lifted long sides of the torso two more good everyone bend the knees come all the way down onto the uh, side of the body so body is flat now parallel to the floor knees bent hand can be supporting the head if you need it lift the top leg flex the foot lengthen the leg bend and come down coordination lift straighten bend and come down Again, lift, stretch long, bend in, and lower. So we're getting into the glute and the hamstring on that working leg as well. Feel your core engage deeper to help move the leg in. And then rest down. You can turn that top leg in and out if it feels good. You can let that top leg go straight in front of you if that feels good. letting that those muscles relax for a moment 
And then when you're ready, re-bend that knee. Lift that top leg. Stretch the leg long. Point the foot and circle the leg. Circle and circle. And bend and lower. <laughs> Just three. Repeat. Stretch that leg long. Circle three. Two and one. Bend the knee and take the leg down. Two more sets. Stretch the leg. Point the foot. Circle three and two and one. Flex the foot. Bend the knee and lower the leg. One more set. Lift the leg. Stretch long. Point the foot. Circle three and two and one. Flex the foot. Bend the knee and rest the leg down. Nice work, guys. Go ahead and straighten your bottom leg. Keep the top leg bent and place the foot on the mat in front of you. Hold on to the ankle. <coughs> lift the bottom leg. Flex the foot. Double lift, lift, single lower. Double lift, lift, single lower. Try to have your neck relaxed. Last one. Good. Point the foot. Circle. And circle, we're almost there, circle. Two more. And then reverse your circle for five. Good guys, extend top leg over bottom leg. Bring those legs together. Lift both legs and lower. Lift both legs and lower. Lift the legs and lower. Again, last one. Now we're going to slide the upper body up and then back down. It will depend on your surface if you're able to slide, modify as needed, but we're just lifting the upper half and lowering, working that side body. Nice and uh, nice and well, nice and good. <laughs> we're getting in there. And then rest, flop on over and let everything relax. Nice work, everyone. Grab the top of your foot, take a quad stretch if that feels good. Stay there as long as you need, switch sides when you're ready. And then make your way onto your left side. We'll try to remember what we just did and do all of it on the left. So we're gonna be up on the forearm and elbow. Legs are stacked, one on top of the other. Core is engaged, as always. <coughs> Flex that top foot. Right hand is down for support if you need it. Lift the top leg and lower five times. Keep the foot flexed, double kick to the front, and a single swing back with a pointed foot. No spiders interrupting me this time. Take that uh, top arm overhead if you can for an added challenge. One or two more. And then bring the top leg over the bottom leg. Turn out the legs and the feet. Heels together, toes apart. L heel slides up the leg and the heel slides down. Heel slides up and slides down. Hip stays where it is. We're gonna do two more. <coughs> and then keep the leg long, point the foot, kick, flex, come down. Point and kick up. Flex, come down. Point and lift. Flex, come down. Again. The last one. And then all the way down. Nice, guys. Come all the way down onto the side of the body. Bend the knees. Start with the legs stacked. Feet flexed. Doing our coordination piece. You're going to lift the leg. Stretch long. Bend the knee. And lower. The foot stays flexed the whole time for this one. Bend in and lower. So you'll lift, straighten, bend, and lower two more. Good. Turn that leg in, turn it out, turn it in, turn it out, turn it in, turn it out, in and out, and rest. <laughs> Moving on to our circles. Lift the leg, straighten, point the foot, circle, and circle, and circle, flex the foot, bend the knee, and lower the leg. Again, lift the leg, stretch it long, point the foot, 
Circle three and two and one. Flex the foot, bend the knee, and lower the leg down. Ideally, you're reversing direction each set. We're gonna do two more, go for it. Um, but I found it difficult for myself personally to uh, figure out which direction I was going. <laughs> so if you're struggling, no worries, just circle that leg three times each set. This is the last one. Good, and then let that leg relax. Straighten the bottom leg. Uh, you can straighten the top leg. When you're ready, bend the knee, bring the foot flat to the mat, hold onto the ankle, flex the bottom foot, double lift, lift of that leg, and a single lower. Finding inner upper thigh muscle to help lift, lift, and then press down. Last two, last one. Point the foot, circle the leg, and circle, and circle. And then reverse. Almost there, guys. Nice work. You got it. Good job. Extend top leg over bottom leg. Legs are together. Both legs lift and lower. Both legs lift and lower. Both legs lift and lower. Let's do two more. And then extending that bottom arm as much as your surface will allow. Adjust where you are if you need to. Upper body will slide up and slide down. Hey guys, two more. Nice, and then relax. Go ahead, flop over onto your stomach. Let the legs relax, let the arms relax, and kind of windshield wiper those legs if it feels good. Hey guys, if you want, you can bring your feet together and let your knees open rotating those legs opening up the hips it's kind of like a frog and then slowly straighten those legs behind sit back onto the feet for just a minute and then you're gonna make your way um, up so that you are down <laughs> lie all the way down on your back Press your right ankle over the left thigh, reach forward, grab onto the left leg, gently pull the legs towards you. Make sure your uh, face or, and neck are not strained in this stretch. If they are, put a pillow underneath your head and or grab a strap or like a towel or a bathrobe tie or something to hook behind your leg to assist in that stretch. Switch sides when you're ready. Alright, uncross those legs, hold on behind the legs, rock yourself up. Find your balance up on your sits bones, hold on to those legs, teasers. Reach the arms long, keep the legs in the air, slowly take the body back, reach the arms. Reach the arms to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, come back up. Good, again, nice strong centers, really feeling that alignment in the body. That coordination of everything working together, including your breath. As teaser two, the legs lower and the legs lift. Legs lower and lift. Try to keep your upper body where it is. The movement of the legs does not have to be big. Grab onto those legs, shake the feet out. We're going to go into teaser three. Upper body and lower body lower. Everything lifts and comes up. Exhale. Inhaling, taking everything down. The exhale, bring everything up. Legs can stay straight or you can bend them when you need to. Okay, guys, grab onto those legs and let everything relax. Take yourself down onto the mat. Almost there. Can't leave without our hundreds. Reach the arms long, curl the head and the shoulders up. Pump those arms. Inhaling and exhaling. Legs are your choice wherever you want them to be. Make sure there's no tension in the face or the neck. Strong pump of those arms. Keep breathing. Talking a lot about symmetry. Feel free to be asymmetrical in your legs.
and then rest nice work everyone hug those knees in take a little rock side to side let the knees fall one way turn your head the other way enjoy that twist and then switch sides let your knees fall the other way turn your head in opposition make your way back to your back Finishing up, take those legs to tabletop with flexed feet. Make sure the pelvis feels stable where it is. You're gonna, uh, tap one heel down, lift the leg, and tap the other heel and lift. So if you've done any videos with me, you know this one. So we're finding low deep abs uh, at the end of class today, because why not? Reach the arms long, curl the head and the shoulders up, and ideally those low abs are doing the work to lift the leg. Take your hands behind your head, legs all the way together, lower and lift. How low can you take those legs keeping the pelvis flat? Don't let the pelvis tilt, don't let the back arch. Keep the elbows open and then rest down. Nice work, guys. Take the feet down, keep the knees bent, hands behind the head, curl up in the center and lower, curl up and lower, curl up and lower again one more curl up twist left twist right extend the opposite arm and twist and twist keep your legs still keep the hips anchored keep going and four three two one nice job rest Hold on to the back. So those legs rock yourself all the way up. Take the body forward for a moment. Opening up the back. Good, come on up from there. You go ahead and sit cross-legged or however feels comfortable for you. You take one hand down, take one arm up and over as if you're taking a side bend and then circle the body forward. Come to the other side and then come back up. Nice and easy. Other side, side stretch, bring the body forward, think about rounding over, come to the other side, and then come on up. Take the hands behind you, take a little stretch to open up the front of the body, give yourself a hug. Give yourself another hug. And then we'll go into our proper side stretch, really feeling a stretch on that one side. Go ahead and rotate down if you would like, reach the top arm long. And you can open up towards the sky or the ceiling as well. Getting a little last rotation in that torso and then we'll switch sides. And then come all the way up. Take one hand to your chest, take one hand to your stomach. Close your eyes for a moment, just kind of settle into your body. Take an inhale and take an exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. Keep breathing. Staying connected to your body, feeling grounded, acknowledging the work that you just did. And then when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. And nice job. Thanks for joining me. I hope I see you next time. Bye.